Hello and welcome everybody. In this video, we will discuss the concept of business driven test automation introduced in the latest version of Sahi Pro 9.0. So let's start with a step by step guide to help you begin. First, we need a use case to consider and automate. Let us imagine that we are going to work on a simple shopping application wherein the user can purchase books and the use cases to add books to their cart and verify the cart total amount. Now let us see how we can implement it using business driven test automation. This is the Sahi Pro editor. We first create a new scenario file. In here you can start writing your steps in this keyword column and any supporting test data or arguments for that step can go against it. As the first step to our use case was login, we write that here. Now a login will need a username and a password typically. So I can add that data as a parameter name, colon, value. I can also leave the value blank as I am doing here with password. Then the next step is add books. I do not yet know what books I will be adding, so I can leave that blank. Then I will verify the total amount. This step will most likely verify the calculation of the cart value based on the prices of each book added to cart and their quantity. Then I can log out. I can give the test case a name and description. I can also write the details about this test case here. Let us save this scenario file. Now as you see the keywords are shown in red indicating that these have not yet been implemented. So to begin implementing these we will right click on the test case name and select run record. I enter the start URL and continue to run record. Now about run record. This feature runs the selected test case with the intent of recording any missing or non-implemented keywords or functions. As you begin, it looks in the entire database of your Sahi scripts, looks for a function with the keyword name and if not found, prompts you to record it by opening the Sahi Pro controller. So as you see now, the controller is open. It asks me to enter a name for the script since this is my first time recording. The script is like a library file where all the implementations of the keywords will be stored. The first keyword is being recorded. The name of the keyword is being shown here. I press this record button to begin my recording. Now perform the steps on the website as needed. Here you can add assertions, checks, use all the Sahi Pro APIs and write complex expressions as needed. I am performing all steps needed for the login operation. Once login is done, I will click here to stop the recording. The controller now takes us to the create function tab. Here you see the details of the function getting created and all the steps recorded. You are also shown the list of all inputs you made and are given an option to parameterize these inputs as arguments to the function automatically. Note here that Sahi Pro automatically gives meaningful names to the parameters that it identifies. It also picks the parameter name if the parameter value matches. So note that in my scenario file, I had named this parameter as username with value test. So here it has picked that name from my specified name by matching the value test. Here you can select the inputs you want to use as arguments and then click save. Now if the next step or keyword in your test case is already implemented, it will continue the playback. But if the next step or keyword is not implemented, it will again go back to the record tab and prompt you to record it. It moved me to the next keyword that is add books. So it shows me here that this keyword is now being recorded. 
names the script file that is being used which is essentially the same file being continued. Recording is already on so I can click OK and begin. I am now performing all actions related to adding books to my cart. When done, I will stop. It moves me to create function tab again. Here, I can add the parameters I want to include. I can also rename them to anything I want. And then save. The next keyword now beginning to get recorded is verify cart total. Here I need to add assertions to check if the cart total amount shown here is correct. I am adding basic assertions by using this assert click and then appending the assert statements to my script. We can also add more complex assertions as needed using Sahipro's assert APIs. Then I can stop. In the parameters, I would like to add total as a parameter so that I can enter the expected total as a variable data value every time. And then save. Proceeding to the last keyword. Here to log out, I just go ahead and click this log out button. There are no parameters to be added here, so just save. And done. Once done, the test case now finishes execution and goes back to the scenario file. The scenario file now shows the keywords in black, indicating that they are implemented. The script file you used to save the functions is included in the scenario automatically. You can open this file and see the keywords implemented as functions here. All arguments you selected when saving the functions are shown against their respective steps in their rows. And the scenario file is automatically saved with these changes. To play back, right click on the test case name again and select run record. In here, enter the start URL and select run from this drop down. The test case now executes by calling corresponding functions implemented for each step using the argument values entered. And it was successful. You can go and check the run logs now. The log shows the details of the run and all steps executed in green. So there you go, you just created your first ever business driven test automation scenario using Sahi Pro. Give this a try and we will learn how to take this forward in the next video. Thank you.